And even if she did, I mean, that's just not her shot. She has not been hitting those at a very high rate for really her whole career. Parrish, three. 5-0 lead now for the Hoosiers. Indiana pushing the other way. Yeah, it's just solid defense from Garazone there. She never moves her body. McWilliams looking for the foul all the way. Garazone for three. She's got it. She's at the arc. Bounce pass into Holmes. Stolen away. Cindy Wood trying to corral it. Loose ball on the ground. Picked up by Garazone. Into Holmes. She's got it. We've seen three straight huge plays from Wildcats subs in Brown and Shaw on the defensive end. Shaw in the paint. Blocked by the Hoosiers. They'll push in transition. Indiana still up by six. Milking the clock, like you said, Noah. Moore McNeil into Holmes, and that's Indiana offense right there. She, she contributes a lot more than she takes off the table. It's so important on the interior for Northwestern. Mackenzie Holmes getting the scoring started here in the second quarter. On both ends of the floor for Northwestern, because she has that ability, she's the player who has beaten Indiana before twice in her career. That Courtney Shaw has as well, of course, but Wood played a bigger role with those teams. And into Berger there, to Scalia, driving in, puts it up, no good, but an offensive board from Holmes and the putback. Pass no good, intercepted by Berger there and tapped off to Scalia, who's pushing, bounce pass to Berger, and a major block from Sydney Wood. Not something you see every day. To fall, the turnovers really plague them on offense when they have some of those good opportunities. Into Holmes, that's the connection, Berger to Holmes right there. 10 seconds on the shot clock now for Northwestern. Good child will go for three, and she drains it. Welcome to the game, a lot of good child. Cross people over like she did just there. She can make defenders miss with her dribble, and that helps her so much out of the high post or out of the, the near side baseline like it did there. And an and one opportunity for Sydney Wood here. But the fact that she is is a real testament to her game. Scalia can't get that one, but her team gets another oh. opportunity, and there's Garzone down low. These looks. Cutting in towards the block and fire that pass on a moment's notice. That is just unreal. That's high level passing ability. Another basket in the paint for Mackenzie Holmes. Garzone over to Moore McNeil. Three seconds for Indiana. She'll have to feed it into Holmes. She's got it, and that is so impressive. Indiana with 14 points off turnovers this afternoon. Northwestern, none. Shot clock violation, though, and some good defense for Northwestern. Courtney Shaw over to Wood. She'll go for three, and she's got it. Sydney Wood. Completely over the basket with that triple attempt. Northwestern back to its starting lineup here. Moore McNeil. Puts up a quick two, and Indiana already on the board, 30 seconds in. Not Mott known for scoring, but Inside, know. almost poked away by Garzone. Rainey for three. Got it. A more hazardous part of the facility. There, Northwestern tries to feed Mott low. No good, but McWilliams there, and Mott gets it up in the and one. Some great fight from the junior duo. She did get her sixth double, double of the season already. 20 points, 10 rebounds on the day so far. And with that free throw, also her 25th career 20 point game. Jazz McWilliams, a three. And only the second of her career for the junior. Not a typical part of her arsenal. Berger out to Scalia, and a great decision there from Grace Berger, feeding Sarah Scalia. That's right, they're down 16 at the half, down 18 right now, but at some point you have to make a run. That run's gotta start soon. In the Mott, and that's a way to make a run. Get those easy twos in the paint. Caroline Lau hands it off to Haley Weaver. Into Mott. And out to McWilliams. Goes up and in. McWilliams at the top, goes for the three, and it's good! Jazz McWilliams. Coach McEwen has been looking to her more, giving her some spots in that starting lineup, and She's having a good day. Berger up and in, plus the foul. Now still by 16 as that one rolled out. Yeah, and it's a rare off shooting night from Indiana. I mentioned they're a 35% three-point shooting team is what a pass down low to Holmes. Northwestern had a really tough non-con schedule, facing off against Oregon, Notre Dame, DePaul, Duke, Courtney Shaw, and one opportunity to take a 22-point lead. Lau heaves it up. 
And that's the game, 72-50, Indiana.